Hello and welcome to this, the 23rd lecture. We're going to look at a quick U-value example using the BRE calculator. So once we've opened the BRE calculator, we get an option to choose a new thing. So we choose new wall and we're going to be looking at a full fill cavity using slabs. So if we click on that, it opens up a, a preview giving us our calculation. Um, but we need to go in and alter a few bits and pieces. So the first thing we want to look at are the brick outer leaf. In our example, it's not a brick outer leaf. We're going to be using uh, blockwork. So we'll drag that blockwork in from the side and then we can delete out the, the brick. And we can also then drag in a render. Just drop that into the side there and set that at the required thickness. So in this case, it's 20 millimeters. And we're going to go in and change some of the sizes as well. Our concrete block is probably the wrong size. Uh, our airspace is the wrong size. So we'll just up that to 50 millimeters. In our example, it is 50. We've got plasterboard. And we'll change the size of the blockwork, which I think in our example is 140. So that gives us a U-value of 0.34. Pretty awful. Nowhere near the required size of uh, required values. So let's jump into Google and see whether we can find a better cavity insulation to use, a better product to use. So a pretty basic search, full fill cavity insulation, pulls up a couple of different options. So we can see there, let's just click on the first one, which is Rockwool, UK company. And we can see there's a full fill cavity bats, which is a slab uh, insulation, which we might want to use. And we can look on that website, pull it down, have a look at the specification and sizes. And there's a thermal conductivity, which I think is slightly better than the one we've got. So we can go back into our U-value calculation and Rather than that 0 0.04, we can change that to 0.37. Now it's going to make a minimal change. It's uh, really only going to go down to 0.32 at that point. So we probably need to think about other ways to change things. So we go back into Google and think for an alternative. And we'll maybe go for the next one down, which is extra therm and they have a full fill cavity wall product which we can uh, have a little look at check that it's the right details but probably what we want to do is uh, go up to the cavity therm brochure on the upper right there click that and go into once it loads Click again, go into the PDF, uh, which gives us uh, a lot of uh, kind of information about how the thing is used and how it's put together. And we can see whether that is suitable for us. And we can quickly scroll through this. Um, speed it up for the video here. And then we can find the key information, which for us is really the a conductivity value. So there's our value there, 0 0.021. So back into our U-value calculation, we can then uh, punt that number into there, 0 0.21. The slabs change, uh, don't, don't change thickness, but our U-value improves significantly. So now we're, we're at 0 0.21, which is getting better, um, but there's probably some other things that we can we can also look at. So if we look at our concrete blocks, they're probably the next thing that we could consider. So quick search of Google turned up aircrete blocks by Thermalite, and we can go down and we can find one that uh, suits our, our requirements for strength and, and use. Um, now, because this isn't a real project, I'm just taking a guess here and saying, okay, well, we could probably use high strength seven. It's a, a 
7 newton block and it has a thermal conductivity of 0.18 so we can copy that data back out into our um, u-value calculation it comes in a number of different sizes so we can see there it's got 100 and 140 0.18 that sounds good take that back in and we can then change that awful value for something which is slightly better so 0 0.18 so we'll see from that our uh, u value changes to 0.17 we could change the the name of this and i think if i was going to print this out i would change that to the actual product name um, but it gives us a much better u value and that's probably as good as we're going to get for this thickness of a wall Okay, so thanks very much for watching, and if you've got any questions, please let me know.